Hi there, Mike Brady with Generosity Wealth Management, a comprehensive full service financial services firm headquartered right here in Boulder, Colorado. So it's been another tumultuous week. Um, remember how two or three weeks ago I said that um, we'd been lulled over the last you know, three, four years with low volatility, and we became accustomed to that, thinking that that was the normal. Well, frankly, I would love some of those days. Um, every day is an adventure and a bad adventure at that. Um, I also said in my last video that this is a healthcare crisis and not a financial crisis. And I'm here to say that it's definitely looking more like the healthcare crisis over time could turn into that financial crisis. Um, that's absolutely disturbing to me, just the way that we have stopped. Even from my last video, um, not seven days ago, um, your economy is just screeching to a halt. And so to just restart something like that at all levels is gonna be very difficult. Um, so I wanna talk about that here today. I wanna to put up on the screen a chart this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is which is an unmanaged stock market index. Um, you're going to see that it's about 30% down. I'm going to put another screen, another sh uh, chart up on the screen, and this right here is multiple years, multiple decades of the S&P 500. And what you're going to see is we've given up a couple years worth of gain that we've worked very hard for, very frustratingly, very hard for, has been given up in a relatively short amount of time. Um, one thing that you'll see in that particular chart, there are times where um, it appears like it's gonna continue going up forever or going down forever, and neither of them are the truth. I mean, it is not a linear um, equation. Things that go up don't go up forever. Things that go down don't go up, down forever either. That's why I stress continually the uh, the multiple year. I'm going to put up on the screen a chart that you've seen from me before. What you're going to see on the first uh, three bars there are one year over since 1950. Okay, so that's 70 years worth of an unmanaged stock market index, an unmanaged bond index, and then a combination of the two. The first year, you can see huge ups and huge downs. As we go out five years, 10 years, 20 years, the lows get closer to the, to the break-even point, the, low, the highs come down as well. Those are rolling, like a rolling five-year, like the, the very best and the very worst five years, and that kind of range in between. What you're gonna see is a diversified portfolio has actually never lost money, although it could in the future. Okay, that's one of the reasons why we have a diversified portfolio that although it, although it does not guarantee uh, against market declines, um, I believe okay, a diversified portfolio makes sense because it might increase our probability of what you're seeing right there, which is what has happened over the last 70 years. Um, five, 10, 20, if you were in your 60s and your 70s, um, I'm hoping that you're gonna live. I mean, and statistically speaking, you're gonna live more than five years, hopefully even more than 10 years, and, and even into the, the 15 and the 20. It's not just you, but it's also your significant other, um, your, your spouse or um, you know what, whoever that uh, significant other might be. And so we think that we might have a, a short time horizon. And yes, as we get older, our life expectancy naturally through the natural process of, of aging and mortality does get shorter, but it is still um, not like, hey, my time frame is next year. And if that's the case, you should never have any money in the markets. And you've heard that from me time and time again and every time you ever talk on the phone about additional money. I'm going to put another chart up on the screen. What you're going to see is 2008. You're going to see there was a 50% decline, give or take a few percent, uh, back in 2008. So we are not um, at that. Um, that also from that bottom, uh, from that, from that, after that decline to all the way back up to break even was about five years for the S and P 500. It was about two or three years if you had a diversified portfolio. Of course, you didn't go down like the 50% either. So it was a lower down and a quicker back up. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why you have a diversified portfolio. Um, you've heard me talk for many years about the completely logical and rational response to 2008 that are big companies. And when I say big companies, big public companies, 
they kept lots of cash on their books. They would, um, from some people's point of view, hoard it. Why don't they distribute it to us uh, um, when Apple gets... Uh, as an example, um, over a hundred billion dollars, or other companies have billions and billions of dollars in cash, they were fortifying themselves from an absolutely horrible situation so that they did not um, get into a cash crunch like they did 12 years ago. Um, I mentioned uh, a week ago, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that it was a financial crisis 12 years ago um, where the banks were in trouble. Today, they're coming into it a week, uh, a month ago in good financial situation. Big companies are still in a good financial situation. It's only been a relatively short amount of time. But that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. Um, the people that they sell their goods and services to um, might be okay for the first week or two. It's almost like a vacation. This goes on for a month or two through the rest of the year which there are ranges all over the place about how long this could uh, how long this could last that's a problem and that's a problem long term and nobody um, me included uh, knows exactly what the impact of that will be so what do we do here as investors what do we do many of the managers have uh, increased their cash over uh, over the um, number of weeks. However, uh, I would say almost everybody has been um, negatively impacted by this. And so uh, whether it's in your personal life, in your financial life, um, in so many different areas, um, this has not been a good time whatsoever. One of the things that um, you've heard me say before is um, it, it's easy to be I, I use a friendship as a, as a great example. Um, it's easy when things are going well and easy to remain friends. Uh, a true friend, and you know, uh, you know the, the depth of their conviction, the, the depth of their values as a, as a person and their principles is when things are rocky. Who's standing right there next to you? I used an analogy uh, about a week and a half ago about an airplane ride. Um, you're going from point A to point B and you're inside that plane. Um, now, of course, if it was a really short ride, you shouldn't be in the plane to begin with. Okay, that's why you drive the car, you you walk, or you take a you, you take a uh, a bicycle. But you're in a plane, and you're going from point A to point B, and it's very rare in today's world for there to be huge turbulence. Not like there was 50 years ago in different types of planes. But technology allows us to have lower turbulence. But it sometimes happens. You don't get out of the plane. You stay in the plane until you land at point B. And so, um, you know, the way that we approach our particular financial goals are no, is no different. We're going from point A to point B. We have unexpected, unpleasant um, turbulence that we wish that we did not have. Um, and if we could wish it away, we would. But it's there nonetheless. What do we do? Do we, do we scream? Do we shout? Do we... No, we sit right there, wait for it to get over so that we can get to our point B. Mike Brady, Generosity Wealth Management, 303-747-6455. Uh, I'll check in with you again later this week or, you know, frankly, more often if, uh, if something big is happening, uh, I'm here to communicate with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.